On this week's episode of Gamer Touches Grass, I'll be bringing to life one of video games' most unique weapons ever created. The Leviathan Axe. Okay, let's be real here, it's- it's an axe. It looks like every other axe ever made, except it's got squiggles and it's cold, mm. and it acts like a boomerang. Which, thinking about it, is actually kind of fucking terrifying. Who thought throwing an axe with a blade on it and having it fly back at you at 1 billion miles per hour would be a good idea? <laughs> Oh shit. In all seriousness, this is a very cool weapon injected into Norse mythology in the latest God of War lore. The Leviathan Axe is introduced to God of War 2018 as Kratos' main weapon through the Norse era, specifically forged by the blacksmiths Brock and Sindri to fight off the power of Mjolnir. Replacing the old Blades of Chaos, this weapon personify the change of- Personify the- personify? Personifies? The change of heart and personality of the ghost of Sparta by the time he inherits the axe, having long abandoned the path of destruction he caused with his former blade. Long abandoned the path of destruction? It's a fucking axe, which he often uses to cut people in half. Yeah, you think this is bad. This is considered peaceful Kratos. Quick disclaimer, before I go too far into the planning phase of this, I am not a self-proclaimed expert of any of the subjects that I'll be going over. This is not a how-to, follow along, guarantee it's gonna look amazing type of video. This is me in all of my glory attempting to do something that's way out of my league. With a limited skill set, borrowed tools, and delusion, this should turn out great. At the end of the video, we're gonna be putting the item on the scuffometer. It's not real, I made it up, I know. Shocking. When I was looking for reference picks, I found this one. Is it like a requirement that I wear a ceremonial looking skirt if I wanna wield the ax? Cause I don't think I have anything like that. Here's the game plan. Gonna make the Leviathan ax out of wood, the whole thing. I played around with the idea of making it out of foam, but I thought that makes too much sense. That would make it easy, manageable, and it would still look okay. Why the fuck would I do that? I'll spray paint the blade, give it a metallic finish. The handle will be shaped from a one by one by... Uh, how long should the handle be? Referencing the gentleman in this picture, eyeballing it, I would say he's about six feet tall. The blade is three quarters his length, making it four feet six inches. That's fucking huge. There's no way my math is incorrect because I'm an expert. All right, if I scale it down to my height so that it's custom made for me, I'm about 5'7", 3 quarters of me is right around 4 feet, which still sounds really long, so we'll shave a foot off of that, call it 1 by 1 by 36 inches. The blade is gonna be the difficult part. My idea is to cut out the shape of the blade from several different panels of thinner wood, which would then allow me to stack those shapes, merge them with some wood glue and clamps, and sand down the desired amount to make the pointy end of the blade Pointy. To attach the blade to the handle, I plan to drill a long screw from the top of the blade and drill it into the top of the handle. But as I think about it, I think that's a terrible idea. I would be drilling into glued together panels of wood, essentially counteracting the integrity of the structured bond. Uh... After long hours of thinking, I think I've solved the issue. would work out really well. I don't think it's gonna work. I'm also gonna get wood stain to stain the handle to give the wooden handle a wooden color. To top it off, I'll wrap some cloth on that bitch and paint the details on the blade. The more I talk about it, the harder I think it's going to be. Let's head to insert hardware store here and get our materials. Knowing exactly where I was going, we started gathering materials. Doing a little bit of product testing to make sure we get the highest quality product we can possibly get. Ah uh, yes, this wood is made out of wood. And after whatever this is, we got everything we needed and it was time to head home. And then something unexpected happened. After gathering the materials, we started setting up outside, but quickly realized we were going to be faced with hazardous conditions. Hey guys, I'm cold. So we had to move all the equipment to the garage, also pronounced garage. 
We ended up getting some wood glue, a drill, this cutter tool, wood stain and can't forget the brush, this epoxy mixer that we didn't end up using, sandpaper, this piece of wood, some tape, clamps, and last but not least, our spray paint. I also hired some of the world's finest woodworking specialists money could buy. Hi, my name is Vaughn, and I got here from my mother's Tallahassee. Uh, it's been uh, about four cold hours. Cold? Cold. I'm cold. cold. I'm kind of cold. How cold are you? Like, real cold. Do you think this is going to be a scuff or a diamond? A diamond in the scuff. My name's Patrick Caboose. What's up, y'all? Goo crew, how you doing? Um, I got here, I drove, really. Down the highway, got here. No, I was abducted. Goo, goo abducted me. I don't. I haven't seen my family in at least seven weeks. So. You're not to do that. I love it here. Whatever's in between those, I think honestly, first time, it's gonna be great. Sanding down the piece of wood to shape it took longer than expected. All of us took turns. Some with better techniques than uh, whatever this is. Yeah. While that was going on, I took to cutting out the blade shape. We scrapped the other ideas and I went with a simple slit in the handle. As you can see, my expert calculations created a perfect fit. Some things I took away from this experience. I need a stool and a sanding socks. This was us uh, product testing. Cut to satisfying painting shots. Then we cut out detail pieces, sanded, and painted those as well. Oh yeah, look at that. The moment we've all been waiting for, now it's time to show the final result. Am I the owner of a sick replica from one of the most iconic games of all time, or was this one of the biggest wastes of all time? Here you go. Rating this on the scuffometer from burn it down to no way you made this. This is a solid, could be worse. I think it looks great from afar. If you see me holding this from far away, well, you might be concerned as to why there's a person holding an ax. But for the sake of this instance, it's pretty spot on. I think this Wish brand version of the Leviathan Axe is gonna make a great addition to my arsenal of nerd shit. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the shit show. I plan on making this a running series, so subscribe to see more like this in the future. Have a great rest of your night, day, afternoon, whatever time it is in your time zone, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!